Hey guys, so I got this question a lot on our last Instagram poll and I figured I'd cover it today and that is what motivates you to keep making art. So I've kind of broken this down into three separate categories like the three main things that really really keep me going and I'm going to go through them one by one for you guys. So number one is to set goals. I always set goals for myself when it comes to art. Why I think this is important is because when you have a goal, you have a destination in mind and you kind of know where it is that you're trying to get to so that you're not just mindlessly wandering through the world of art and kind of just going with the motion. Now, I always break down my goals into two separate categories and category number one is short term goals. Now, the short term goals I like to think of as any goal that can be achieved in less than a year. It might be a week, it might be a month, it's super super flexible and it could be literally anything related to your art. In a case where I would use a short term goal is if I want to focus on something that I really really want to study. So for example, if I'm trying to get better at facial expressions, I would set a goal for myself. So maybe for the next week or the next couple of weeks, I would try to really study facial expressions and focus on that. And maybe the week after, I would shift my focus onto something else, maybe on portraits in general or just onto like backgrounds and environments and stuff like that. So short term goals are really great for really trying to focus on a certain skill set of yours, but they don't have to be just that. They could also be for, you know, enhancing your social media skills. Maybe you want to start posting once every four days, once every three days, whatever it is, whatever that number is, you can set a short term goal for yourself to try to achieve that for maybe the month of October. And again, I just want to reiterate that this is super, super flexible. It could literally be anything. If you're trying to open up a shop, it could be to finish enough pieces so that you have enough products to put into your shop by the end of a certain date. So now that we've covered short term goals, let's move on to the long term goals. Now, long term goals are just as important as the short term because they give you kind of like an overall sense of where it is that you're trying to go. It could be anything from five years to 10 years, but you want to really imagine where you would be down the line in the future and what is like your ideal scenario. Now you want to aim as high as you possibly can. So if you want to be like an animator or something, maybe you want to go work for Disney in the future and that's like your dream job, then set that as your long term goal and then work from there. So once you have that goal, you can try to determine, OK, I have a certain amount of time to achieve this and then there are a certain number of things that I have to do in order to get there. So then you can kind of start breaking down what it is, what are the steps that you need to take in order to start going in that direction. And just to give you guys an example, one of my personal long term goals is to eventually be able to tell my own stories with my art without my skill level holding me back. <laughs> and right now, honestly, I still feel like my skill level is holding me back quite a bit. So this is why I keep doing these studies. I keep trying so hard to improve is because I have this long term goal that I want to eventually be able to get you know, comfortable enough with my own drawing skills that I can then realize all the characters and environments in my imagination and be able to really, really just actually like do my imagination some justice with my drawings, you know? And a second long term goal that I have is to eventually be able to financially support myself with my art so that I can do this full time. That is like a dream scenario for me. And that is also another thing that's really keeping me going right now. So now that we've covered setting goals, let's move on to the second point. And this is going to be looking at other artists. And I don't mean just any other artists. I mean, like the ones that are really successful that you really, really admire. If there is an artist out there somewhere who is living literally your dream scenario, then follow them, you know, see what they're up to, see what they're doing, see what it is that people like about their work. And also, you know, if they're in that dream scenario of yours, you could try to look back on their art journey and see what they did to get there. For me personally, just as an example to you guys, one of the artists who really, really inspires me in this sense is Ross Draws. I mean, he's got a YouTube channel. He's got an Instagram account with over a million followers and he's got a great Patreon page going and he's also just launched his book. So it's like he's doing all of these crazy things that I would eventually want to be able to do as well. And it's like so inspiring and so motivating to see somebody in that position. And uh, just as a smaller artist like myself, it's like just 
so motivating every time i see something new that he posts or something new that he's doing and again like you know you can find different artists you can go look for your own artist somebody who you really look up to and every time they do something you're just like wow like i'm so motivated to like also follow in their footsteps or you know try to do something similar with your own work as well and also keep in mind guys if you find somebody who is like your one hero character who is like your dream scenario as an artist and you're following them don't just stop there. Keep an eye out for other artists as well. You might find new artists who are popping up here and there who might inspire you even more, who might motivate you even more. You know, there are always so many different people for you to discover. And it's always good to keep an eye out because you never know what's around the corner and who's going to pop up and start motivating the heck out of you. <laughs> so now this brings us to our third point, which is going to be to appreciate your own improvements and this is so important for you to keep in mind is you want to look at work that you've made from a while ago however long it may be it could be like a month or a year but you just want to be able to spot the improvements that you've been making in your own art and give yourself credit for that it's really really important to be able to pat yourself on the back once in a while and tell yourself exactly how far you've come and be able to know just how much work you've been putting in and how much it's been paying off like for me personally i literally just scroll back on my instagram feed and look at the old work that i've made maybe a year ago maybe a month ago and it's like night and day the uh, style that i've adopted and the changes that i've made to my own work and every single time i see it it just motivates me so much because it's like i start wondering like where am i going to be in a year where am i going to be in two years if i keep this going if i keep improving if i keep learning i wonder where that's going to take me and that is something that is super exciting and really really inspiring now you might be wondering, okay, what if I look back on my own work and I realize that nothing has changed, I haven't improved? Well then, first of all, that is a good analysis to have because then you know something isn't working because as an artist, you want to be constantly growing and improving, right? So that takes us back to our first point. So if you find that you're not really improving and your work is staying stagnant and the same all throughout years, um, then maybe you want to start setting new goals for yourself. You want to start implementing some new short-term and long-term goals in terms of where you want to take your art. So think about what skills do you want to develop? What do you want to improve on? And in what areas do you want to change the way you draw so that maybe a year down the line, you can look back at your current work and be like, wow, look how much I've improved. And honestly, guys, if you ever feel bad about your work, if you're ever not feeling good about the direction that your art is going in, just take a look back at your own stuff. Just, you know, remind yourself of the progress that you've made as an artist and the amount of growth that you've experienced, because oftentimes it's so easy to forget about that. And we get like really caught up on the small details. It's just like our painting process, you know. Um, but yeah, like keep reminding yourself of how far you've grown. And that's also going to give you a sense of like how far you might grow in the future so that you know that's something exciting looming on the horizon for you that you might want to discover right so that's something else that's going to keep you motivated and to keep you going so just a quick recap of what we've covered the first point is to set goals for yourself and this can be short-term goals and long-term goals now you want to have a good combination of both so that you always have something that you're working towards and the second point is to follow the artists who inspire you right if there are artists who are living in your dream scenario follow them look at what they're doing and look at how they got there and the third point is to appreciate your own improvements so take a look back at your old stuff and remind yourself of how much you've grown as an artist and just how far you've come okay if you made it this far i've got a bonus tip for you okay so this is something that really took me to the next level and this is just drawing whatever it is that you want to draw okay don't buy into the um the noise of social media and and all the other people like saying like you should be doing this you should do that um honestly just draw whatever it is that makes you happy makes your drawing process enjoyable don't buy into the whole like oh i gotta do like popular subjects and fan art in order to get more exposure and views and more of an audience like no do not okay like honestly follow whatever it is that 
you like to do and just just do that do whatever makes you happy brings you joy that's going to keep you motivated more than anything else okay so that's it guys thank you guys so much for watching this video i appreciate you being here and i'll see you guys on the next one